Example number three in equations that involve roots, right? Uh, we're talking specifically about square roots or equations that lead to quadratic equations. Uh, so I've got one over here, which is um, 2, which reads as 2 root x minus 1, root x minus 1, plus 6. Oh, mama. Plus 6 is equal to 2x. Now we have to be incredibly careful about this sort of question because sometimes learners make silly errors because when we are squaring both sides of an equation we are squaring the entire right hand side and left hand side right so whenever I see a root in the question step number one just as a reminder is isolate the root okay and step two is square both sides. Okay, so how do we do this? Let's look at this. So I'm going to have 2 into root x minus 1, that stays there, and I have the 2x on this side, and I'm going to bring that positive 6 over, or I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, and that's going to leave me with negative 6. And so now I just simply square both sides. So I'm going to square this, and I'm going to square this. And we've already seen how to deal with squaring something. We have the number, uh, I've got a factor, which is like my a, and I've got another factor. I've got to square each of them, right? So when I square that, that leaves me with the following. 2 squared is 4, and root of x minus 1, when I square the root of x minus 1, that is just root x minus 1 times by the root of x minus 1. And that simply just gives me x minus 1. So if I go back over here, I'm going to open a bracket and say in that bracket, I'm going to have x minus 1. Now what many, many students do and make a mistake with is this one over here, 2x minus 6. What we've seen commonly is they say 2x minus 6. When I square this, the answer is simply 4x squared plus 36. Right? That is not the answer because you are actually squaring 2x minus 6 times by 2x minus 6, all right? And you need to look at the entire thing over here. So that's going to give you negative 12x, and that over there is going to give you another negative 12x, which will give you together plus 24x. And how do we look at this? Just take the insides, 2 times 6 is 12, and double that, it's going to give you 24 and you can clearly see we had a negative there, so it's negative 24x. So that's what squaring that thing over there should look like. Okay, please do not make this error because it will cost you many, many marks. Okay, so let's square it. First term squared is 4x squared. The last term squared is positive 36. Multiply 2x by negative 6, that gives me negative 12x. And double that, it's going to give me negative 24x. Okay. Right, the rest is fairly trivial and fairly simple. Let's just multiply this out over here. And remember, you should be doing this question with me. You should be writing, you should be pausing, you should be playing, you should be rewinding. So if you want to pause the video here and give the rest a try, that's a good idea, okay, before actually viewing my solution. So this is going to give me 4x minus 4, because I'm just multiplying that by that and that by that. And that gives me 4x squared minus 24x plus 36. Okay, now I'm left with 4x squared over here. Um, that negative 4 comes over and that's going to give me positive 40, right? Because 36 plus 4 is 40. Negative 24x minus 4x is negative 28x. So clearly 4 goes into everything there. I'm going to divide the entire equation by 4 right so I'm going to say divide by 4 and I'm going to see what I get next when I divide 4x squared by 4 I get x squared when I divide this by 4 I get negative 7x and when I divide 40 by 4 I get positive 10 I can read this once again mathematically and I can say okay this year requires factors of 10 that I add that I get 7. And that's simple because that's just 5 and 2. 
x and x. Both will be negative, and therefore x equals 2, and x, or x equals 5. Now remember, it's very important to check, and let's just write down the equation for checking. is root of 2x plus, uh, root 2 into root x minus 1 is equal to 2x minus 6. Okay, I just draw a line in between uh, to say that that's what I'm comparing. It's my left hand side, that's my right hand side, and I want to check the solutions 2 and 5. So let's put 2 in there. If I put 2 multiplied by 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 is 1, so the square root of 1, that's just 2 times root of 1, which is just 2, right? Okay, and if I put 2 in here, I get 2 multiplied by 2 minus 6, uh, that's 4, 4 minus 6 is equal to negative 2. So here I've got 2 on the one side, and I've got negative 2 on the other side. So clearly, uh, this cannot work as a solution. Cannot work. It leads the one side of the equation to equal 2, while it leads the other side of the equation to equal negative 2. Let's try 5 now. I put in 2 multiplied by root of 5 minus 1. Okay. So 5 minus 1 is clearly 4, the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Now if I put the 2 into this x on the other side, I mean, sorry, 5, I say 2 times 5, right, minus 6, 2 times 5, minus 6, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 minus 6 is 4. So clearly, I get the same answer on both sides. And that's a positive thing, that's something that's good. I got 4 over there, and I got 4 over there. Okay, that's something that's really, really good. 4 there and 4 there. And that happened when I put 5 into the value of x. Right? That's the x there. I've put in 5. That's the x there. I've also put in 5. So clearly this is a solution and this is not a solution to the equation. And that's example number 3.